Department of Justice requesting more information from uh, about a dozen short-selling firms. The firms receiving subpoenas are said to include Muddy Waters, Melvin Capital, and Citron Research. Joining us right now to discuss all of this is former SEC chairman and CNBC contributor Jay Clayton. Jay, it's great to see you. You look at this investigation, and there have been a lot of people calling for it, especially in the retail community after the GameStop scenario about a year ago now. Is this... If you were running the SEC, is this something you you would be doing? Um, how do you feel about short sellers? Well, short short selling generally is an integral part of our marketplace for many reasons. Uh, but let me say what what people may be looking at here. I think Andrew, there, there are around four things. Or let me classify it as four things. It could be alone or in combination that you would be looking at as a regulator. First of all, there's a short and distort which is the opposite of pump and dump. You establish a short position, you release information to the public that's negative about a particular name, stock drops, uh, you reap the rewards of that stock drop. Of course, if that information is accurate, that's a benefit to the market. If the information is inaccurate, uh, that's problematic. Um, the next thing would be coordinated short selling. Uh, short selling by a number of firms uh, to make it look like there's broad-based sentiment that the company's stock should be under pressure or is overvalued. Um, a, a third thing that is often talked about is uh, naked short selling, uh, borrowing shares to short that really don't exist. Um, and then a fourth thing that may be looked at is, are people short selling in advance of material non-public information that is negative? This type of probe could be any one of or a combination of those. Now, one of the things that folks have called for is this idea that short sellers should have to disclose when they get out of positions. Do you agree with that? Andrew, I, let me put it this way. There is a lot of debate going on right now about what should and should not be disclosed by individual participants in our marketplace. I, I am a believer that when they have large positions, um, and we have rules around this, 5% uh, as an individual or a group, um, delayed reporting uh, pursuant to 13F of positions by large money managers, that reporting on an individual basis is beneficial. Um, that said, I, I don't think that individual position reporting, in particular short position reporting, is, is a good idea. Um, and the, re the reason is short selling is a benefit in many ways to our marketplace it puts information into the marketplace that wouldn't otherwise be there. Not all sentiment in the marketplace can be positive. Some has to be negative. The question is, if you had to disclose what I would say is smaller short positions, would those investors be prejudiced? And that's a very good question. I do, however, very much believe that we can improve our aggregate short sale information. How much short interest is there in the market at any one time? and have that information available on a more timely basis. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.